Yep, we're gonna be towing it. We're gonna be towing some big, big weight, almost 30,000 pounds. And the cool thing is Ford brought out their brand new F450 and they mashed it up, or is it matched up against this? Same weight. It's the Ram and we're gonna see which one of these is faster up the hill. Now I've got a sneaking suspicion since Ford brought them up that it's gonna be that truck over there and that is coming up next on the fast lane truck. Now before we roll this video, keep in mind that Ram was not happy with this comparison. They felt that it was unfair for Ford to put up what they called a commercial truck, the Ford F450, against their Ram 3500. Also, you may be wondering why Nathan and I aren't driving. And the simple reason for that is because we don't have our commercial driver's license and we were hauling so much weight that we couldn't drive them without a CDL. Uh, my name is Alan Costantino. And Alan, what do you do for Ford? I am a performance engineer. I work in a group that's called Vehicle Energy Management, and we're responsible for uh, performance fuel in the vehicle as well as fuel economy. Now, uh, Alan, myself, and Nathan. Say hi, Nathan. Hi, Nathan. We're in the uh, brand new 2015 F450, and we're pulling the haul. We're pulling a pretty big load back there. How much you got back there? So we are at about uh, 36,000 pounds gross combined right now. Um, we are pulling the same uh, same trailer in weight as a, uh, the, the Ram that's behind us. Um, so this is this is a this is a heavy load. We got seven pallets of, uh, of paving bricks on us on a heavy duty gooseneck trailer. So we're pulling pretty much the maximum or close to the maximum. We're get, getting close, yes. In the, the rain. In the rain of both these trucks. So this is like we're at semi <laughs> semi hauling territory. We're getting there. It's pretty crazy. And uh, what are we going to do? How are we going to test the difference between the new Ford and, of course, the Ram? So what we're going to do is we've got, this is the heavy tow segment of this. Um, we're going to be running up and down uh, the grade here on 64 in just uh, east of Beckley, West Virginia. Um, very steep, very extreme grade. Um, so going down the hill, basically what we want to demonstrate is the confidence and the control that you have um, with this monster load behind you pushing pushing you down the hill demonstrate the capability of our improved engine brake uh, tow haul capability is you know the different modes in the transmission that we offer to give you that control and confidence going down the hill and then when we go up the hill it's all about capability it's all about how fast or how you know how capable how to demonstrate the power to move the load up the hill so that's what we're going to do, and we're going to rotate between the Ford, the F450 that we're in right now, uh, a Ram with an equivalent trailer behind it, and then an, an F450 that's got an extra pallet of, of uh, bricks on it. So that one's another 2,300 uh, pounds above where we are in this truck. Wow. So that's, uh, that is definitely the maximum capability of this vehicle. Yeah. We're, 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 we're pushing it. This is a... Uh, this is some large loads. This is stuff, you know, a couple years ago, you know, you would have been medium truck to uh, to move if you wanted to move this kind of trailer. Yeah, I was looking at the difference between the new uh, Super Duty and the old one, right? And the new one with the new power stroke, the 6.7, you're up to uh, 440 horsepower and 860 pound foot of torque. You got it. And the old one was, do you remember how much the old one was? It was... So the, the last, the first generation yeah, 6.7. Yeah, the 205. 2005, right? Oh, the t yeah. So the so the 2011 was the, the first the introduction of right. the six seven. Right. And that was 400 horse 400 horse and 800 foot pounds of torque. Um, prior generation to that was the uh, the 6.4 liter, and uh, that was what the heck was that? I can look it up for you. I'm trying to remember. All right, hold on. Well, I got this. See, that seems like. Eons ago. <laughs> were, you, were you at Ford at that time? Oh yeah, I was at Ford. I was I was I worked on that program. What are you guys looking for? I got it here. We're looking for the old one. So the old one, the 2005, was 325 horsepower and 570. That was a 2005. The 2005. Okay, yeah. I thought you were talking the 2008 no. when we went with the with the 64. No, that was a 2005, 325, yeah. 570, 16,700 max. 
Um, oh, okay, going back the decade, right, that, that yeah. Mike was showing. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, yep. Going back a decade. And now, 10 years later, we're at a 6.7, 440, 860, uh, and a 31,200 31, um, maximum tow capacity with a GCWR of 40,000 pounds versus 23,000. Yep. 23, 23, five, five, yep. Yeah. So it's almost double. It's almost double. It, it is. In it, 10 years. I know. If, if you look at the capability growth in the diesel segment, it's just crazy. It's phenomenal. The, the technology and, and the content that's been put into the trucks. It's, uh, it's really amazing. I mean, the capability, and, and it's not just the raw power, the features and the way that we've added additional controls with the integrated trailer brake controllers, the engine brakes, tow haul, uh, the different modes that we offer on the transmission, the progressive range select as well as the manual mode. Um, it's an entirely different beast. It is so much more capable and controllable even at the heavier weights than, than the trucks were back in the 2005. And with right. so much weight, basically, you have to have a CDL to drive this because you're, we're towing so much. Yeah, it's a CDL, and actually right now we have to pull into a mandatory uh, commercial vehicle brake check before we continue down the hill. Welcome to the world of heavy, super heavy, and super duty towing. Three trucks, two F four fifties, and a competing Ram. And the yep. Ram has what's the axle ratio on the Ram? It's a four ten axle ratio. It's their maximum tow package. And this has a four a four thirty. So that's Again, as close as we can get. It, it's it's max tow to max tow, and we don't offer uh, we don't have the same final drive uh, lineup, so we can't do. You can't uh, get an apples can't apples get exactly the same. Yeah. So you're pretty close though. Yes. And in terms of the trailer weight. Now, the Ram and this truck have the exact same trailer, right? which so is how much? 24,500 pounds. Okay. And then we also have a second 450 that has an additional pallet, an additional 2,300 pounds on it. So that one's almost 30,000. Almost 30,000 pounds. Okay. And how steep is this grade that we're going to go down? So this has, at the top of the grade, it is a sustained 6 to 7%. Which is the highest allowable grade on the U.S. Yes. Uh, highway. And so this is this is really, and you can tell by the, you know, it's a pretty short run, and there's two truck pull-offs. Um, you come out here and spend any amount of time, and and you'll see semis with smoke pouring off the trailer brakes going down the hill. I've seen several of them over the last couple of days. And unfortunately, it's uh, pissing down rain, so we can't <laughs> we can't really get outside of the truck without. Um, getting very wet and damaging the camera gear. So we're going to try to do it all in here. Okay. Um, now, right now, are you using the engine brake in? So the engine brake is on, the tow haul is on. Yep. And basically what I want to do is drive, I need to get a gear. So the speed limit for this uh, for commercial vehicles is 45 miles an hour. Um, what we're doing is basically picking a gear uh, such that we're running at a high engine speed in the, in the, v, in the speed range that we want. The, uh, the engine brake is most effective at, at high engine speeds. So it's a little bit different um, in the, the sense that I, I really need to bake, brake off the tachometer, not necessarily off the engine speed. I want to brake before I hit my, my max you know, engine off, power off red line because I don't want the truck to upshift because then I'll lose my engine braking. So when I get around 3,800 RPM, yep. I'll get on the brakes and bring the vehicle speed back down. But you're using grade shifting, right? I mean, this, this truck has grade shifting to, to help slow down the... So it has tow haul, right. which will which will downshift based off of vehicle acceleration rate, pedal position. Um, so it takes these things into account to, to, to put the transmission into the gear that it, uh, it thinks would be best for the conditions. Nope. And so at the top of the hill, I got on the brakes a little bit, and it, and it came down into third gear for me. Now, one of the things I noticed immediately is just how quiet that engine brake is. 
you know, because the turbocharger, right? The turbocharger, the little valve, the, the little veins. veins basically switch, switch directions. And so mm-hmm. now it's acting like a brake instead of sucking air in. Yes. Uh, and the old ones are crazy loud. Yeah, so this is this is different than the big truck. Those those are actually big brakes. Big brakes. It's, yeah. yeah, it's it's in the exhaust ring. This this is it's basically getting two two uses out out of the turbocharger, um, and it's uh, you know adds a tremendous amount of control. You know, going down the hill, I can maintain a very comfortable controlled speed going down the hill with with really limited brake application. Turned around and now we're going to go back up the hill. I see we have a ram in front of us. So is uh, is your goal to pass that ram? <laughs> we'll just wait and see what you know. We, right, we'll we, we, want, we want to demonstrate the power and capability uh, between between us and the ram. And you'll have the opportunity to, to experience that firsthand here in a minute. So is he wide open throttle too? No. Right now, uh, through this section, uh, this flat section, we're, we're not going to go wide open throttle until we. Uh, Till we get the hill. Okay. Yeah. So this is the calm before the this, towing storm. That's right. <laughs> How long is this uphill section? It's about five miles. About five miles. That's a pretty serious grade. Yeah, it's like I said, it's it's a long, very continuous, very street, steep section of road. And the it's, speed limit uh, is 70, which we're is. not gonna be doing. We will not be doing quite 70 in these trucks. <laughs> I don't think we'll do it 70 in these trucks. Now we're 20. We, we, we do pretty well. I mean, yeah. uh, all, right. all right, we're coming up to the hill now. Slower traffic, keep right. That would be us. Well, right now we're going. We're, so we're look, going the six. Titan just blew by you. Well, I don't think the Titan can pull the trailer, so we'll we'll let him go on his own. I gotta give the four guys a little bit of a little bit of grief. <laughs> now it's getting steep. Wide open throttle. No, I'm, I'm at wide open throttle. Oh, you are? Yeah. Okay. So that Basically, foot's all the way down. Foot's all the way down. His right. foot's all the way down. All right. Behind us, everybody is. Right. Let me get the camera foot going to the here. Floor. You show them. Foot to the floor, and right up there, there is the ram. You can tell it's a ram because it's white. Well, it has the. It's got the ram mirrors. Yeah. You guys got the Ford mirrors. Tow That's mirrors. right. All right. So the question is. The wonderful Ford towing mirrors, power pulled. Best towing, one of the best towing features out there. You should be selling Chamwows. <laughs> <laughs> and only today you get two F450s for the price of one. That's right. <laughs> and in case you're wondering, look at this. $74,590 for this particular truck. So that's going to be a lot of value if you get two for the price of one. All right. So far, a clean run. we got a semi-truck that's up there. So he's going to have to move over and you're going to have to move over. Now it's getting exciting. Oh, he's moving over. Look at this. Still wide open throttle. Nathan, is this exciting? This is awesome. <laughs> there goes the ram. There goes the ram. Now, in part two of this video, we're going to be in the ram. Now, I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to take my hand and press it down on the driver's leg to make sure that he's not, not backing down. Scott's got got heavy feet. Yeah. He's, he's uh. You know, we're, we're doing about uh, we're doing 55. about 55, 54. Yeah. yeah. You know, which at this weight in the grade is 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 really pretty impressive. I so said you can look in the mirrors and the side view mirrors, and you can see the ram fading back. Actually, uh, just kind of hit behind the uh, semi back there. Nathan, are you surprised the Ford the Ford won in this Ford event? Yeah, I'm a little surprised. I was kind of thinking about that. You know, I gotta say this though, the, the power comes up really smooth despite the heavy load. I mean, I didn't, you know, no jerking, not a whole lot of wheel slippage, everything seems to be working beautifully. So we, we spend a lot of time, you know, overall powertrain integration. Um, you know, it's one of the things that we did, and, you know, we wanted to bring the, uh, the engine transmission, everything is in-house. Um, so the overall system integration is, is something that we have, I think, you know, executed really, really well with this truck. Let me translate that. 
uh, what Alan is saying is that uh, unlike the Ram, Ford builds their own engines, right? We do build our own engines. engines. Yes. I, like, I like the Cummins in the Ram. <laughs> Point of pride for Ford. It is. This guy's for sale already, or uh, will he be for sale? You know. So the uh, everything but the Ford, the uh, 450 is on sale. Okay. Uh, the 450 should be any dealer lots any day now. Okay. It's uh, imminent. So let me just go over what, what's in this particular truck so that uh, in case you're interested in getting yourself a 450, base price 16790 and uh, we are, is this the Platinum? Are we in the this Platinum? Is a platinum. Which is the top of the line. We had this conversation before. If you're wondering what the difference is between the King Ranch and the Platinum, well, a lot more chrome on the Platinum, basically. There's, there's more, there's more Different base grill. content. There's, there is additional there's base content, um, but there's, yeah, the exterior styling is definitely more cool. And uh, the engine is the same. Same engine, same transmission. Uh, throughout the whole range, right? 253, 54, 50, yes. for the most part. Yep. So, so the difference is basically the chassis. Yeah, they all have the same engine. Um, the transmission is, is similar. There's there's upgraded componentry in the uh, in the, the some of the, the, the 350s and 450s when you get into the higher GCWs. And so here we have obviously a six-speed automatic. Um, we have a fifth-wheel boost tank prep package, which is nice. Uh, so you don't have to add retrofit that stuff. Yeah. 20 seconds in and out, then you're back to your flat load bed. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> a rapid heat supplement heater. <laughs> is that an engine block heater? Is that what that is? Uh, I believe oh, that's engine block heater. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, the, the yeah. okay. Yeah. Oh. So there's an engine block heater and a rapid heat supplement heater. Yeah, that's for that the is. passenger because you know the diesels, especially in cold climates, right. they don't heat up the best. So right. we have a supplemental heater to get the cab. Extra heavy duty alternator, tough spray and bed liner. And the heated rear seat, Nathan. Yeah, I'm feeling it right now. <laughs> He's falling asleep back there. Well, I'm cool. <laughs>
it'll right. turn it off if you hold around. And you've got uh, grade braking as well, right? The engine is also downshifting to give you more. That is correct. Now at this point, the way this grade works and the way this setup works is the truck, I'm, I'm trying to maximize my revs to make sure I keep confident down the hill. So it's locked actually into third gear. I will bump it up because you know, it does have the, the lockout features just like the Ford has. But if we keep it in third gear, I can keep it right in the revs where I want to and I can keep it somewhere between 42 and 52 miles per hour and have the confidence going down the hill. Now the one thing I, I can tell, obviously I'm not behind the wheel, so um, that has to do with the fact that uh, we're towing so much weight, it just jumped out. Yeah, it just jumped because we were revving a little too much. Yeah. Probably let my speed get away from me. Sorry, we were talking. That's right. Um, it bumps you up because it's protecting the engine. Of Ford course. does the same thing, but we do rev higher than the 3,100 RPMs in the ramp does. So I'll go ahead and lock it back down. We can bring it back down to third gear. It does sound a little bit, I was going to say, it does sound a little bit louder in here. It's a little bit more, even though I think they're both very quiet. They are. Very, the, the quietness, the customer is benefiting from all this competition, right? We're bumping up. We're all bumping up our games. The customer is going to win with a product no matter what. But... Uh, Cummins does have a little bit more uh, combustion sound to it. We feel that that's what the Cummins feet folks feel their customer wants. We went for the quietness, the smoothness, uh, I should say the quietness of the drink. Now, I just, did, I just did the Chevy program and we weren't, jumped out again, yeah. we weren't quite towing as much, so I was able to drive the, uh, uh, the trucks. And one of the things we, actually we weren't driving, I was in the passenger seat. One of the things we found out was uh, that uh, every time these programs are set up, Whatever manufacturer sets it up wins the contest. <laughs> and, you know, that's just full disclosure. Sure. And that could be, of course, because of, you know, the nature of the beast. Or it could be because you guys keep stair-stepping each other, right? That's so, correct. So, you know, GM just came out with their new model, and that was developed a few years ago because there's a long development cycle. That's correct. And yep. so, you know, yours is a little bit more more fresh, I guess, because it's coming out in 2015, whereas theirs was a 2014 model. Yep. And this is, of course, an older model, so, you know, out of, out of the... Um, the two that we're testing, this is probably much older than, than your current generation. Correct. Right. And that's where... And I have to say that it'd be fair to Ram. Absolutely. You have to be perfectly fair. And I'm sure Ram's in the process of stepping up their game, too, to our current now F-450. We've up, we're playing the towing wars, too. Not only are we playing the torque wars, but we're playing the towing wars as well. Now we're heading up this. Uh, what do you call this? What's this called? Uh, we just call this Beckley. I mean, Beckley. Yeah, we call this the Beckley route. Uh, we could certainly name it New River because we're crossing New River right now. So uh, I like New River. There we go. We'll yeah. call it the New River. Hill, this is the right? New River Gauntlet. <laughs> Sorry, Nathan. I stole it's it from okay. you. Right. The New River Gauntlet. And uh, I have a sneaking suspicion that we're going to be last up the. New River Gauntlet. <laughs> That's a pretty good sneaking suspicion, too. <laughs> so far, we're still flat, but let me know when you get to wide open throttle. Okay. Which is coming up really quick, because you can tell the grade is starting. Yeah, the grade's going to start right here, and right about in this area, we'll go down here. Right yeah. about when the we go to three lanes, I'll just mash the pedal. And we got a speed limit of 70 miles an hour, but with uh, all that weight in the back, I don't think we'll be uh, at any risk of exceeding it. But right. to the floor. But to the floor. Here we go. And do you have it in uh, tow haul mode? Tow haul mode, still full engine brake, but we won't get any engine braking right. obviously going up. But yes, tow haul is turned on. Now, one of the biggest differences isn't necessarily torque, right? They're very close, 850 to 860. That's correct. But you guys have a lot more horsepower. We have 440 horsepower. Uh, the Ram is just under 400. I don't remember the exact number, but yes, we do have more horsepower. And going up this hill, it's about horsepower. Isn't it's it? all about horsepower, horsepower instead of torque. Torque gets you going, horsepower gets you up the hill. Yeah, and so uh, we are at a slight disadvantage there for now yep. until Ram decides to up it. Now, I've heard that uh, the new uh, uh, new revised 6.7 is actually capable of putting up to 1,000 torque. Is that possible? Uh, you can comment on that? I can't comment on any further. I'm trying. I know you're trying. I'm trying. We were, we were well uh, told on how to, how to say things, whatever the case there may be possibility to do that in the future, but at this point right now, 860 is where we've designed all our componentry, all the chassis components to handle this torque that's going down the, the drive line. Yeah, why do I have a feeling that when we do this again in four years, it'll be a thousand? <laughs> the way things are going, I would say that's a pretty good bet. Yeah, but it's not just about the uh, 
engine, right? It's all about the components, right? The transmission. So you have to up everything. You just can't up the. You can't the, just up the engine. I mean, you got to update the transmission, and that's why we brought our rolling, our rolling chassis along, right? So you can see all the other changes that we made to the drive line, to the axle, the cooling system. That's a great example, right? You got to have the cooling system to match. Well, we're slowing down now. Oh, and I can smell that truck up ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Very quiet though, still. It but is it's very quiet. We're, we're having a pretty decent conversation without having to raise our voices too much. I suspect there'll be a Ford up our uh, tailpipe pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a fair estimate. Yeah, so we are starting to uh, bog down a little starting bit. to get caught now. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how long it takes before there's a new uh, F450 that's going to come barreling past us on the left here. Now, are you letting the transmission do its own shifting? I'm letting, I've, I've put it all the way up, okay. not there. locked out any gears, and it's letting it do it on its own. There we go. So there goes our uh, comparably equipped, comparably loaded F450. We still have another one that's behind us. Which is towing even more. Which is towing just a bit more weight to get more, to show the full capability of what the, uh, the F450 is capable of. Do you know the uh, weight of the truck itself? Have you guys weighed them? Are they different? The trucks themselves are pretty comparable because of the equipment and everything like that. I don't know the exact numbers. I don't know if they, had, they did do a full trailer loading weight. Yeah. So it's the difference is 2,300 pounds between the heaviest one and, and this one. And, and this one. Yeah, so the, the, the second Ford that's going to pass us, I suspect, pretty soon, maybe, is uh, he's way down there. Yeah, he's, uh, he's way down. He he's may not pass us. He's got 2, 000, over 2,000 more pounds that he's hauling. And we're stuck behind a Chevy. <laughs> so far, I'm not catching that Chevy. So. Yeah. And we're doing about uh, 45. I 45. When we were going up in the Ford, we were doing about 50. So about a 5 mile an hour difference. Maybe even 55. It was a little bit faster. I think you're going to pass it now. Yeah, I, could, I better move over here. And yeah, the Dodge is hunting a little bit. We've hit another little steep section here. So we're toggling between fourth gear and third gear. Is the second Ford coming? Second Ford is now coming. All right, all right, here we go. The moment of, uh, of excitement <laughs> in a towing video. <laughs> Bring up the music now. <laughs> this is as exciting as it gets on these, uh, on these gauntlet videos. And there's the speed limit, about 42, 40, yeah, 40 yep, miles 42 hour. right now, third gear. All right, here we go, here comes the big moment. As uh, the Ford engineer has a big smile on his face. <laughs> <laughs> and your foot's still down, right? Foot is to the floor. All right, wide open throttle here. I don't want you to lift it up. Oh. Slow motion. Barely, barely inching up. <laughs> it's a race now, guys. It's a race. Come on. Go for it! Harder, harder! Oh! oh. 2,300 more pounds. Yeah, yeah. Uh oh, now the Cummins is starting to win a little bit. I'm gonna let him go. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> he, he left off because we were about to yeah. pass him. <laughs> that was his job on the line, so. That's right. <laughs> now we got a record right here. Yeah. So. Well, thank you, Scott. That was really fun. I appreciate it. Yeah.